Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have a new fountain pen. This is a pelican, or a pelican, I've heard it said both ways, um, and this is my first pelican, so I'm very excited to try this pen out. This was one I liked when it initially released and didn't purchase it, um, was really excited to find it. I actually found this at a show that was completely irrelevant to fountain pens. However, the gentleman that had a booth there was selling off some of his personal collection. So I snagged this one, seeing it in person made me buy it. So it has a gorgeous presentation box. Very, very pretty. This is the Pelican Souverain Stressemann. M405 in the anthracite black. Now, I'm probably going to be saying Suvaran and Stressman. That's pretty much what all of the Americans say is Stressman instead of actually using a correct accent, which I'm not really capable of doing. So, gorgeous packaging. Absolutely love the Pelican wax seal. That little, it's plastic, but it's so pretty. Love the presentation. This is the pen. I love it. I think it's gorgeous, quite stunning. I'm just going to set it aside for a second and finish looking through the box. So underneath, it's a very well-made box, by the way. They have more information, the warranty, and a little flip-through pamphlet. It's all just very nicely done. I love to see Really nice fountain pen packaging. Love the little pouch. But back to the pen. This, I don't know, this is just such a stunning little pen. It is very small. Uh, it reminds me a lot of my sailor pen, my pro gear. And this is a piston filling. And the only other pen I've had like this was a Twisby, and my sister actually gave me that one, and I never use it. It's a good fountain pen, I just, I don't personally use it. Just see if I can slide this off real quick. Okay, got that off. Have the pelican symbol at the top. Have that pelican beak clip. Such a fun shape, very creative. And the cap reads Germany. Pelican and Suvaram. And this is the anthracite. Love the little pelican symbol at the top. Very lovely. Please just excuse my inky fingernails. That is a hazard of fountain pen life. This has a 14 karat gold nib that is rhodium plated. I believe the other accents on this pen are palladium as opposed to rhodium. I love having these stripes. They are quite stunning when you turn them, but that also gives you a little bit of an ink window, which is great when you have an internal mechanism like this, such as a piston filler. Stunning pen, insanely lightweight. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I like this pen. That has been one of the things that's kind of kept me from purchasing a Pelican in the past is just how lightweight they are. Uh, obviously, if you size up, this is the smallest size in this line. It will be a heavier and larger pen. To ink this up, I actually have a special surprise. My 
friend gave me the Monteverde black ink set for Christmas. So I'm going to choose one of these to ink this pen up with. I haven't tried these yet, so I'm very excited. And I think I'm going to have to go with the Cole Noir. So let's go with that. Anthracite and Cole Noir. Fountain pen ink with ITF technology. Ink treatment formula improves ink flow and extends cap off time. Sounds like good stuff. Gotta grab the seam ripper. shake it up. I don't know if Monteverde recommends shaking their inks, but I will shake this up. And I haven't used a piston filler in a long time, and I've never used one that wasn't a demonstrator. Well. All right, I'm going to hand it to Monteverde. They, they cap their inks very well. Okay. I'm embarrassed to say it was an extreme struggle and a knife was involved. <laughs> I did end up having to hit the edges of the lid. I was not getting it any other way. So, okay. This is a fine nib. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and do this twice. Yeah. Just to make sure ink's actually getting in there since this is a brand new pen. Not much ink stuck to anything, so that's kind of neat. Alright. Cap that for the moment. Let's see if I can get this to focus in, since it's a very black ink. Kind of get the transparent aspect to show me how much ink is in there. I can see it a little bit. I can see it shifting. Very cool. All right, so for a writing sample today, I have onion skin paper and Tome Away River paper. And since this is a new ink that I haven't tried before, I'm going to go ahead and do a spatter and a swab. So I'm just gonna shake this again real quick. Shift a few things around so nothing gets inky spattered. Don't need that. And I will start with the swab.
Here we go. So I don't know what the attributes of this ink are, and I don't believe they're listed anywhere within the packaging. Looks like a really nice gray-black. This is a fine nib. I'll say that it is a comfortable writer. It hasn't wowed me yet. It's also a fine nib and I tend to be a medium nib person so it might be one of those things that just takes a moment for me. It's an easy writer, that is for sure. Very comfortable. As far as that goes, the nib is very, very comfortable. Ink is flowing just fine, no issues. I'd say it's just a little small and a little lightweight for my hand. For my personal pref preference there. The ink is lovely. If you're looking for more of a coal black, this is the one. I really like it on the onion skin paper. It feels very comfortable. Definitely comes off a little bit more black, I think, on the whiter paper for the Tomoe River. I just I'm finding myself like holding it up here instead of holding it down here. I think this might end up being a purse pen for me, which would actually be fantastic, um, especially for writing checks and everything. It's a really good size. It would look good with everything that I, I use. And then it would be that pen that I would have always in case I needed something with a nice black ink. Very comfortable. I really love the way that it looks. If it were heavier and a little larger, uh, I think it would be a big winner for me. So definitely probably a size up in this series would suit me a little better. But a stunning pen, 
very pretty. If you love lightweight pens, this is definitely something to look into. Thank you so much for watching.